This is how you take the S's off Skittles and the M's off of M&M's. So all you need is some glasses, water, M&M's, and Skittles. I separated them by color, but you definitely don't need to do that. You could actually put them all in one glass if you want to. Also, I use cold water. If you want to speed it up a bit, you could use warm water. Within about five minutes, I already saw the S's floating to the top of the water on the Skittles. You can also see that the dyes are dissolving in the water, and that's because the dyes are water-soluble. The waxy coating that has the letters on it is not water-soluble. This is why that comes off and it floats to the top of the water. If you look closely, you can see that whole waxy layer separating from the rest of the candy and floating to the top of the water. All of the S's were off of the Skittles within about, I would say, 5 to 10 minutes, whereas the M's were still on the M&M's. These took a bit longer, and that's because Skittles are mostly sugar, so Skittles will dissolve in water, whereas M&M's are obviously chocolate, and those are not going to dissolve in water, so that takes a little bit more time for that waxy layer to separate and for the M's to float to the top. This is obviously all sped up, so you can see by the time the M's started coming off of the M&M's, the Skittles were almost all completely dissolved. The M&M's took quite a bit longer, I think about 20 to 30 minutes before all of the M's came off. So if you want to speed this up, you can use warm water and it won't take so long. But just like the Skittles, you can see the dyes dissolving in the water and that waxy layer comes off and it floats to the top because that waxy layer does not dissolve in the water. This is a great experiment to use some of that Halloween candy to teach kids about water insoluble and soluble substances as well as density.